Okay, lesson 147. My mind holds only what I think with God, which is the overarching theme of this review section. And today we are reviewing lesson 133. I will not value what is valueless. And 134, let me perceive forgiveness as it is. So these are the review lessons. All right, I'm going to go ahead and bring our beloved Magdalene through. I did this radio show yesterday for about an hour and a half where they interviewed me. Um, it was, a, of course, a miracles group. And a gentleman had sent out a, you know, an inquiry, a message on the group and said, who experiences love in their heart? And I wrote and I said, I do. And so he reached out to me and he said, um, would you be open to be on a podcast that I do and, and be, let me interview with you? And I was like, of course. So we had a beautiful, beautiful time with that. And this man, so he says, you know, if you, I understand you do channeling, if you'd like to do some channeling. And Mother Mary came through and it was absolutely gorgeous. She um, said that this man who had, was running the podcast, who I met over at Of Course in Miracles, had been one of the Essenes and had been one of the teachers of Jesus. And it was funny because the gentleman, his name is Monaco. He said that uh, Jesus came to him and said, you know my teachings, you know the material of the Course of Miracles. You're a Course of Miracles teacher. And he was like, how can I have taught it? I never studied it. <sighs> anyway, um, it just really, it led me to understand that the Course of Miracles has, you know, the Essene foundations to it. So anyway, it was very enjoyable. Um, okay. Bring Magdalene through. Greetings, beloveds. In the very early lessons, we come to understand that everything that we value has all of the value that we have given to it. We deem what is important to us. We deem what is not. And yet we do not truly understand what the value of things are. We do not see things for what they are. They become projections of our imagination. They become decisions and choices that we have made along the way about what is important and what is not, who is important and who is not. We have lent our mind to prejudice. We have lent our minds to grievances. We have lent our minds to thoughts that have caused separation. When you truly come to understand what the value of something is, you're able to see it for what it is. You're able to see it with a field of neutrality. You're able to see it for the innocence that it is. You're able to see it for the creation of love that it is, where everything has been created in love. And the vehicle that will allow you to come to the true value of anything that will allow you to once again think the mind of God is forgiveness. So these two lessons beautifully dovetail into one another. For you to truly value, you must be present, you must be in the presence of, and to be in the presence of means that you have released and relinquished any sense of judgment, to any given circumstance. And this is done quite easily, beloved ones. When you can forgive yourself or forgive a particular object, 
person, place, or thing that you have judged and deemed to be unworthy of your love, including yourself, including the times when you have said, I do not feel valuable. I do not feel worthy. I do not feel that I belong. I do not feel that I can have. I do not feel love. All of this is the illusion, beloveds. For the truth of you is, you are worthy. You are holy. You are divine. And that beloved energy runs through you, as you, with you. And all you need do, beloved ones, is to look for it, to seek it out, and you will indeed find that stunning, brilliant connection that you have with the mind of God, with the love of God. For you are as God created you. That is the fundamental, simplest understanding of life. And when you embrace this moment, when you allow yourself to truly know and truly understand that God made you worthy, God made you valuable, God made you in its image, in the likeness of God, then you begin to say, what is God? Who is God? How may I express myself? as God in the world. How may I love you more? If you spent a day asking within to each circumstance and each condition and each being that you come upon, God, how may I love this being more? Better yet, if you ask, how may I love myself more? How may I be kinder? How may I be more tender? How may I be more gentle? How may I be more loving? <laughs> you will come to discover a whole new outlook upon the world, a whole new wisdom of what is real. And you will come to think with the mind of God, see through the eyes that God sees, the love, the love of self, the love of all beings. And forgiveness is the key to unlock that, beloveds, as it always has been. For those whom you have judged, and of course, that includes yourself, you have laid out a path saying, you are not worthy. You not, are not worthy of my time. You are not worthy of my respect. But really, those judgments fall to yourself. So allow yourself to be as God created you in all of your holiness and all of your beauty and your magnificence, beloved one. Find a circumstance today where you can lend yourself to forgive swiftly, deeply, broadly, widely. Know that love is with you as it always has been. You need only look towards it and for it and you shall find it. You go with our blessings, dear one, our precious blessings always. I love you and I will speak with you again. Greetings, beloveds. I wish you all the most beautiful day. I thank you for being here. I thank you for coming and joining us in this journey of love. Talk to you all soon. Bye, everybody. <laughs>